Roblox Bed Wars is a game that everyone can enjoy, young and old. I mean, if you hop onto YouTube, you can see multiple of the most popular channels are made by adults. Some of you guys might be wondering, how did Roblox Bed Wars get to be the game it is today? Well, I have the answer for you in this video. I've played Bed Wars since three days after the release, so I'm the one to consult. If you enjoy it, please consider subscribing, and let's get into it. Roblox Bed Wars was released in May of 2021 by a group called Easy.gg. It was a version of Minecraft Bed Wars, but it was free to play and had separate features like building with ease. They also removed gold, which I personally think was a very good call, considering, considering it encouraged gen campers. The game was a little bit buggy at first. They originally didn't have a texture for iron armor, which I think is bizarre. If I can find a picture or a video of it, I'll put it here, but if I can't, then that's okay. Just imagine it, it's just white blocks. On June 14th, 2021, Easy.gg released the potentially the biggest update in the entire history of the game, and that update was Kits. The first three Kits were Farmer Cletus, Barbarian, and Builder. After Kits skyrocketed the popularity of the game, they made a few changes. They removed slime blocks, which was a big disappointment, along with, which you probably didn't know existed, purchasable grass. But soon, Easy.gg would make another massive update, really helping the game take off. On August 27th, 2021, after adding Archer, Baker, Inferno Theater, Melody, Pirate Davy, Elder Tree, Lassie, Grim Reaper, and Vulcan, Easy.gg added the Season 1 Battle Pass, purchasable for 800 Robux. This changed the course of the game and resulted in players grinding, trying to get the best kits and sprays. The pass consists of Warrior, Beekeeper, Beatrix, Raven, Jade, and, of course, Pyro. This is one of the major turning points in the game. It allowed players to use their skills to actually unlock benefits. Later, in October of 2021, Roblox Bed Wars added Dodo Birds, the first interactable characters in the game besides the shopkeepers. The cute little things had people rushing to the middle to get their hands on them. People loved the birds, and they were smiled upon by the community. Six days after the Dodo Birds, they added the new and iconic Lucky Block game mode. It was one of the most fun updates in my opinion, and I thought it was awesome. Most of the community agreed with me as well. As Season 1 was drawing to a close, Easy.dg enabled double XP. It isn't that important, but I thought it was worth mentioning since people flocked to the game to finish their missions. Soon, it was the next season. On October 23rd, 2021, Bed Wars released the first ever Holiday Battle Pass, Season 2, also purchasable for 800 Robux. It was a Halloween-themed season complete with the kits Jack, Gompy, Fisherman, Trapper, and Ares. At this point in Bed Wars' life, the game began attracting a variety of content creators, including Tankar, Void, and Rainway, all of which I saw in-game and defeated, except for Tankar, he's way too good. But even more content creators were attracted to start making content for the next update, Ranked. Ranked is a game mode in which you level up according to how you played matches, but level down if you didn't do well. It attracted a lot more attention to the game, with even more people launching their Bed Wars YouTube career, including me about two months later. But after Rank thing, they added another very hyped update. On November 9th of 2021, five days after Ranked was released, Bed Wars added voice chat. This is a massive turning point, enabling users to interact without having to pause and send a message, putting their life at stake. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that back in the Season 1 update, Bed Wars nerfed the pickaxes. It used to be able, you used to be able to like four shot beds, but now I'm pretty sure it's an eight hit. After that, Bed Wars soon added the infection game mode, Vanessa kit, Axolotl Amy kit, and of course, the lucky airdrops. They are brought, the airdrops brought new fun to the game, enabling people to get guaranteed good loot and encouraging people to visit others' bases and battle to the death with the new items. In December of 2021, with Christmas drawing near, Easy.gg decided to release some, of the, some Christmas themed updates. To start, they released the Freya Kit, which is an ice warrior that has a sword that freezes people, purchasable for four emeralds. Seven days after Freya, Bed Wars added hang gliders. I don't see why they did this in December, but it was a very cool update, and installed a new edition of trolling in the game. People would fly over bases or try to fly someone's bridge and knock them off with a jade hammer. You didn't need a kit to access these items, so it was met with a lot of joy. Finally, Bed Wars added the Battle Pass Season 3, along with the Christmas Bundle. 
The pass was a Christmas themed one, complete with Santa, the snowman, the gingerbread man, the Yeti, and Aerie, my personal favorite. I'm actually going to create a YouTube video soon on Aerie. I didn't have that in my script, but oh well. Also, here's another thing I didn't have in my script. So, basically, uh, I forgot to write what was in the Christmas bundle, but basically you got the limited edition Void Regent kit. You got the Void Barbarian kit skin, and you got the Axolotl Amy Reindeer Trainer kit skin. So that was pretty exciting. Now, moving on. They also added enchantments, which were accessible through the enchantment table, which is still around as of Season 7, today. After the new year started, they added many new updates. Apparently, the developers were very happy with 2022, and 2021 was finally over. They added new items to Lucky Blocks, the Golden Scythe, the Golden Bow, and the Green Throne Knives. The update was fun at first, but the throwing knives were overhyped and people got bored quickly. So, as a result, Bed Wars added the new smoke kit available in the Season 3 Battle Pass. It was okay, but not the greatest. Before I continue, I'm going to ask you to subscribe, because if you have watched this far, you might as well subscribe, because it will encourage me to create more content like this. Anyways, Bed Wars quick quickly added Sky Wars version 2. They did this because one of the easy.gg developers got fired, and they were really angry. They released their quote-unquote own game called Sky Wars by Voxels. I personally think it is really fun, and I'll even make a video on it if this video gets 10 likes. But that's not the point. It's exactly what Easy.gg didn't want. They didn't want their developer to be able to profit off of their game. The game was obviously taking off, and they were bitter that this developer had stolen their game. So, they literally copied their textures and maps, but just kept their own animations. Really well played, Bed Wars. As Lunar New Year was drawing closer, Easy.gg became more and more closer to making the biggest mistake of their lives. On January 28th, 2022, Roblox Bed Wars added the Lunar New Year update with a brand new map for Sky Wars. But that's not all they added. They also created a Lunar New Year bundle containing one of the most frowned upon kits on Roblox, Yuzi. The new kit enabled you to have infinite dashes with a short cooldown. It was way too overpowered, and it made a lot of people quit Bed Wars. All I'm gonna say is, if you don't have the Lunar New Year kit for Yuzi, you have no business using it. Like, don't use Yuzi if you don't have the kit skin for Lunar New Year or Victorious Yuzi. Because if you don't have the skin, then you're kind of just a slave to the newest strategies. Soon after the Lunar Bundle, Bed Wars released a new mob to the game, the Battle Ducks. You could purchase duck eggs and hatch them to get ducks with a leather helmet and a stone sword. There were a lot of rumors about getting the ducks to have better gear, but they all turned out to be fake. Except for the enchantments. People found out that you could actually get enchantments, then hatch a duck, and the duck will have the enchantments. Remember, if you're enjoying the video so far, make sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this. If this video gets a lot of likes, I'll post a video called Roblox Bed Wars Facts You Didn't Know. So, make sure to turn on post notifications to stay tuned. The rest of February was pretty uneventful, adding the Miner Kit and Lucky Blocks version 3, along with the new enchantments. In March, however, they reset rank seats and added Boba Blasters, random vending machines, the Season 4 Battle Pass, including Nyx, Alchemist, that one green guy that nobody uses, aka Crocker Wolf, and Sheep Herder. They also added clans, which were a massive turning point for Bed Wars. It allowed people to communicate and team up without adding them or even knowing them in real life. On April 1st, 2022, Roblox Bed Wars released my personal favorite update. Well, maybe not my favorite, but the, the funniest one. Their first April Fool's Day update. It was called Banana Wars. Most people have probably forgotten about it, but I think it was really fun. They changed the swords to look like bananas. They added the banana peel and, of course, the hair dryer and the frying pan. The frying pan was way too overpowered, so it was removed after a while, while the hair dryer was still, was still in the game. The hair dryer was actually just a tornado launcher, by the way. That's what it was called, but it was shaped like a hairdryer, so thought I might just call it a hairdryer. They then added the Disasters game mode, which was also the first game mode with a bed shield, and they added the Easter Egg Hunt 2022. You were able to hunt for eggs and claim rewards. It brought the community together and began, and people began flexing their new bunny emotes on everybody they killed. It was a truly fun and good update. As Season 5 was drawing closer, people began to worry Bed Wars was just getting too complicated. And then, on May 6, 2022, they did the unthinkable. They made it more complicated. They added the Minicopter. It was an attack helicopter that you could fly around the map and kill people with attached missiles. It disrupted the Bed Wars community, and people got angry at the developers. 
many people quit. But good news, the game came back because Bedwars added the triple XP weekend. So people were able to grind to get nicks before the new season. And that they did. More than 1,000 people got nicks on the last day of the season. At this point in the video, I'm going to remind you guys that I'm making a new Roblox game called Developer Battles. It is a game in which you will fight each other to the deaths and complete missions to earn yourself cash and open crates to unlock a famous developer slash content creator's skin. If you want to get notified when I post the game or even when I when I need help with a video, join our Roblox group, Boother Studios. We also sell merch that is available at a cheap and affordable price. At the launch of our new game, the, new, the merch will be 25% off. Make sure to be there, now on with the video. After the triple XP weekend, Bedwars finally, finally released Season 5. It contained the Star Collector, Zephyr, Merchant Marco, Dino, Dino Trainer, Lucia, and Cobalt. The next month was uneventful except for huge lucky blocks in the Spirit Assassin bu bundle. The Spirit Assassin was the first teleportation kit in Bedwars, followed by Umbra. Then, on August 27, 2022, a ship appeared in Roblox Bedwars. It was a pirate ship, to be exact, floating around the map at free will. It didn't do anything, but it hinted at the first live event in Roblox Bedwars history. When the live event finally happened on September 23rd, 2022, the new season of Roblox Bedwars launched. I was live during that event, and it was really exciting for everybody watching. The pirate ship crashed into the lobby and new kits were released. We had to fight a boss and save Bedwars from the pirates. The new season consisted of La Laney, Wim, Zurot, Warden, and my personal favorite, Kalia, who has the Kalia's punch ability, obviously. After that was the Halloween 2022 update with Jacko Boom, a plant that could be harvested and thrown as an explosive. You were able to buy things with the candy during the update, including the Vampire Vulcan kit skin and the Mummy Lassie kit skin, both for 15,000 candies. Unfortunately, the rest of 2022 wasn't that exciting for Bed Wars, but now we enter 2023. In January of 2023, we were met at the door with fire sheep. These animals were fed purple hay, and the more they ate, the stronger they got. They could defend your bed against enemies, but be careful. You don't want anyone to break it, as it cost a cool three emeralds to get. They also added relics, which were the things that you and your teammate could vote on before the game. It gave you certain advantages in PvP, along with team upgrades. In February of 2023, the good old Season 7 came out. We got Lucky Crates, the Drill Kit, Flora Kit, Umbra Kit, and Caitlyn Kit. It was a very cool season so far, and I am excited to see what the new season will be like. That being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember, I am asking you to like and subscribe. I know people usually ignore me when I say that, because that is the way the brain works. We don't like being told what to do, but I'm not telling you to, I'm merely asking. So please, subscribe. Boother out.